British Columbia's climate is changing fast. We know that our health region is going to experience more extreme heat, more intense storms and flooding, poor air quality, changes to our ecosystems. And unfortunately, the warmer that it gets, the more pronounced those changes are going to be. So there's a strong connection between climate change and health. If you think about the heat dome or the atmospheric river event, you can see how extreme weather affects our health and the health system. Climate adaptation is really the idea that we can and need to anticipate all of the potential impacts of climate change and prepare for them. In terms of health, we can look at different health impacts such as extreme heat, wildfire, smoke, infectious diseases, mental health, and for each of those try to be prepared as a health system and as a society to lessen those effects over time. For example, forest fires are expected to be larger and longer in duration, and these events can impact human health through irritation of the respiratory system. They can lead to individuals needing more medication, and they can also impact other aspects of health, such as cardiovascular disease and mortality. The health impacts of climate change are not distributed equally or fairly across individuals and communities. And people experiencing socioeconomic disadvantage, they're gonna have a harder time coping during extreme events. So what we need to do is target our work so that we benefit those who need it most. We need to prepare our health system, for example, our emergency rooms, our care homes, and all of our other services, and as well as that, our communities. We've seen that cities, towns, and other parts of government are able to help vulnerable populations during heat events, cooling centers, for example, or checking in on people who might be vulnerable. But we need to engage with climate change mitigation, so limiting the ongoing climate change that we're already starting to see. It's really important to know that as much as we adapt to climate change, it won't be sustainable to continually adapt our way out of this. What Vancouver Coastal Health has done is create a climate change and health adaptation framework that guides our work in this area. This plan is going to help us better support governments and Indigenous communities. We'll be able to share more information about the health impacts of climate change, fund community-led initiatives, and show up for those people that need us the most. We've also created a set of seasonal readiness plans that ensure that our healthcare services are prepared for future climate disruptions. No organization, no community is going to be able to adapt alone. Vancouver Coastal Health is one partner at the table who is here to support you and to connect with you as we go on this journey together. I would like to welcome all of our partners, municipalities, regional governments, First Nations, to contact Vancouver Coastal Health and work with us as we address the biggest threat to the health of our population in our generation climate change.